Hi, hello everyone. Successfully, we are completed the first chapter real numbers. Now we are going to start second chapter sets. So set theory was created and developed by a German mathematician. Name is George Cantor during the year eighteen forty five to nineteen eighteen. So before going to define the set, we should know the two terms. One is the well defined. Another one is the collection of objects collection of object what is the collection of objects in our daily life we can come across different collection of object we can see suppose in english the vowels are there what is the vowels of in english a e i o u so we can say that is a collection of objects so objects otherwise we can call as a elements so a cluster of the stars a cluster of the stars like this we can give the examples so that is the collection of objects now come to the well defined what is the well defined easy to recognize what is the well defined easy to recognize now the come to the definition of the set a set is a well defined collection of objects a set is a well defined collection of objects i will write the right on board set the definition of set a well defined a well defined collection of objects collection of objects a well defined collection of objects is called is called set so objects also we can say is a elements objects objects are called are called elements elements now we can give some examples for set vowels vowels in english alphabet in english alphabet english alphabet so second one rivers rivers that flow in india rivers that flow in india okay next those who are not set we can give some examples third one suppose some odd numbers some odd numbers is not a set is not a set is not a set why it is not a set some odd numbers we are not to well defined some means we don't know what is the odd numbers we are not well defined so it is not the set come to fourth one some stars some stars in the sky in the sky we don't know what are the stars we are said that some stars it is not well defined so it is not the set sky is not a set is not a set okay now these sets are represented by capital letters sets are represented by sets are represented by capital letters capital letters of english alphabet english alphabet and elements and elements denoted by and elements are denoted by small letters small small letters small letters okay you can take the example a is equal to set 
A comma B comma C comma D. Now we can observe the set we are representing the capital letters of the English alphabet. The elements or objects we are represented by small letters of the English alphabet, small a, b, c, d, so on. A set can be represented in two ways. One is the roster form, another one is the set builder form. What is the roster form? The elements in the set we can write in the flower brackets or parentheses. A set builder form, a set of elements we can describe in com some common property. Okay. I will write on the board. A set can be represented in two ways. A set can be represented. A set can be represented. A set can be represented by in two ways. In two ways. One is the roster form. One is the roster form. Second one is set builder form. Set builder form. Now come to roster form. Come to roster form. So the elements of the set the elements the elements of the set are written or written in between in between flower brackets in between flower brackets Power bracket or parenthesis we can call parenthesis parenthesis okay example a is equal to set one two three four like okay this is the flower brackets these are the elements now come to the set builder form set builder form Set builder form. What is the set builder form? The elements of the set, the elements, the elements of the set are described or are described. The elements of the set are described. They Common property. They common property. What is the common property? So, for example, you can take example A is equal to flower brackets x is such that x is a prime number x is a prime number less than 10 less than 10 here you can see this indicate this symbol indicates such that such that so x is such that x is a prime number less than 10 prime number less than 10 2 3 5 7 we will we will get so that is a common property so x is a prime number less than 10 we are given the common property up to less than 10 so this is a roster form and set builder form. If x is a, if x is a element, if x is a element in set a, set a, if x is a, if x is an element in set a, this you can write, uh, this you can write x is belongs to a, x is belongs to a. So, x is belongs to, belongs to a. Suppose, if x is not a, if x is not an element, not an element in set a, 
in set A. We can write x does not belongs to A. x does not belongs to x does not x does not belongs to A. So this is a symbol of x is belongs to A. This is a symbol of x does not belongs to A. Come to the empty set. Come to the empty set. What is the empty set? What is the empty set? In the set there is no elements. In the set there is no elements. The sets are called empty set. No elements in the set. No elements. No elements in the set. In the set are called empty set. Are called empty set. Are called empty set. It is denoted by it is denoted by bracket empty bracket or pi. Okay. So empty set we can say other name of empty set empty set or null set or white set these are the called empty sets only so other name of the empty set is null set or white set cardinal number what is the cardinal number what is the cardinal number so the number of elements in the set are called cardinal number the number of elements the number of elements the number of elements in the set in the set are called cardinal number are called cardinal number cardinal number it is denoted by it is denoted by it is denoted by number of e. suppose a is a set we can represent n of a for example that a is equal to set 1 2 3 4 5 now this you can write the cardinal number of uh, elements is 5 this you can write number of a is equal to 5 Number of A is equal to 5. Now come to the finite set. Finite set. What is the finite set? Finite. Finite in uh, mathematics we know what is the finite. It is the countable. It is the countable. The number of elements are countable. Then they are called finite set. In the set. In the set. The elements are the elements the elements are countable the elements are countable then they are called finite set example example set A is equal to 1 2 3 4 here you can observe the elements are countable 1 2 3 4 so this is a finite set come to the infinite set come to the infinite set what is the infinite set in the set the elements are infinite in the set the elements are infinite otherwise it is not countable it is not countable in the set in the set, the elements, the elements are uncountable, uncountable, uncountable is called a infinite set. For example, for example, set A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. 
it is not countable there is no limit infinite numbers are there therefore this is called the infinite set